Hi, I'd like to talk today about how the machine learning toolkit learns. That is, how do you structure a search and a machine learning retraining system so that your models can learn through time and can keep up to date to the most recent behavioral changes in your data. We'll also go through how partial fit gives you the option for incremental fitting as well. So when you load a search into Splunk, maybe into the machine learning toolkit like the predict numeric fields, you're loading some set of data. Maybe it's the last 24 hours over there on the right. Maybe it's the last 30 days. It's some training set of data. And we're gonna go through that training data, that large data set. We're gonna learn using the fit command and we're gonna save that learning onto disk, right? And the idea is that maybe you might have a rolling window. So say instead of 24 hours, it was a 30 day load and you were saving it as a scheduled search. So that means every night at midnight, we load the past 30 days, we process all of that data, we save it onto disk, onto that model file. So now we have a rolling window. That is Monday night at midnight, we load the last 30 days, we persist it as a model. Tuesday night, we move forward one day, right? So our rolling window, our relative window of 30 days loses the oldest day and gains the net new day, and we learn the new behaviors and persist that data onto that model file again. So if we think about this as a, a rolling way of trying to predict one day at a time, you have this 30-day window, 30-day relative window on a scheduled search. We persist the data with a fit command. And then during the day, during that blue period right there, we use the pipe apply. We apply that data moving forward. And this is what's called batch learning. So as we retrain the data, as every day goes on, we're losing the oldest day and we're gaining one net new day. Now the problem with this is that you're constantly loading 30 days worth of data at midnight or whenever your scheduled search is constantly loading that data and you're not retaining any knowledge from before that 30 day window, right? It's gone, All right? So Monday, 30 days ago, um, let's say it was a Friday. When we go on to Tuesday, you've lost that old Friday. You've lost the oldest day and it's gone forever. But there is a way to change that in the toolkit. There is a way to change that. Online learning, right? Or, or batch online learning in this case. And it looks exactly the same. It's just some search that we load into the toolkit. We persist that data as some sort of scheduled search, so it's learning. But now we're going to use partial fit. So this was the original idea. Instead of fit, we're going to use partial fit. It's actually a flag inside of the fit command. It only works with very specific algorithms. And the idea is that before we had this 30 days worth of data. So we load the 30 days on Monday, we persist the data on disk, and we predict Tuesday with it. But then for partial fit, we no longer need to load the 30 days, okay? We've saved that information into an extended model file. So now all we have to do is load the entirety of Monday, that light blue bar. We load just the net new data with the partial fit. It then learns the net new behaviors retaining the history of the past inside of its mathematical brain. And we persist that new model on disk to predict Tuesday, for example. And we keep doing this. So you're doing the same kind of retraining, but now the incremental load every night is not the 30 days. Instead, you're using that partial fit to incrementally move yourself forward. The apply step is the same. It's that incremental partial fit. Now, only certain algorithms allow you to use partial fit. That's why we, I called it out under the MLP classifier, the multi-layer perceptron classifier that we added to the toolkit in 3.4. There are very few algorithms that support it. Check the docs. This is about the algorithms, not Splunk. Okay, Splunk is using the open source libraries. Whether those open source libraries, whether the, the math they're using is actually advanced enough to support partial fit is a big question, and you can check that in the docs. Remember that that slowly builds up a larger model file. Now, for the most part, that's not really gonna be a big issue. You're talking about a very small incremental amount of information. And remember that as you move through time, you're gonna to want to start looking at things like what is the weight of additional time as a uh, time data as opposed to historic. So let's say I keep partial fitting over um, 60 days into the future, right? So every day I'm loading just the one day over and over again and, and adding the net new behavior. After 60 days or so, do I want to downweight data that came from 60 or even 90 days in the past? Or do I want it to have the same weight as what happened yesterday? Right? So these are the questions that you need to answer when you're building a partial fit model. I hope. Thanks for listening, and I hope you have a great day.